Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm just going to briefly cover the email management section um, of the responsive framework. Now in front of me obviously I have the email management page uh, and this can be found in the admin area under the theme options and on the left hand side we've got email setup. Okay so the screen in front of me is for the directory theme, um, however the same layout um, will obviously apply to all of the responsive themes. Um, however on the right hand side where it says email assignment some of these options um, may or may not be visible depending upon which theme you're using. The concept however is the same for all of the themes. You initially create an email on the left hand side and then you assign it to an action on the right hand side. So for example the welcome email um, is the email that's sent to obviously users when they initially register on your website. What we would do is we would create, click on create new email so it's a um, welcome to our website. Obviously we can enter anything here. Thank you for joining. Okay, and then we've got the options at the bottom to set an email from. So obviously that would be your, your name or your website name and the email here would obviously be um, your website name, uh, email or obviously your personal email. And then we have a blind carbon copy which allows you to obviously receive um, a copy as well, usually for testing. So we go ahead and save that. So obviously the new email is then um, generated on the left hand side and what we do on the right hand side, we click the option, we scroll down and we select the email that we wish to apply to this action. So by doing so we can say the welcome email is now going to send um, this email here which is welcome to our website. And then we scroll down to the bottom and we simply click on save changes. And it really is that simple. Now obviously some of the emails have what we call short codes and if you click on view short codes um, a pop-up box will appear um, and you can see here um, some of these short codes available. So if, if you wanted the username to appear in the email you would enter brackets user underscore login brackets. Um, if you wanted the email um, brackets user, user underscore email close brackets and the same with password. Now obviously if you are using the welcome email um, to include the user's information such as obviously the username and password you may wish to turn off the default registration email from WordPress that way then they don't get two emails and you would do that by simply turning this option here. So that's really the basics of the email um, setup option here. Now we have an also a mailing list which is another um, option in the responsive framework and this allows you to use a mailing list widget um, which is under the widget section appearances, widgets, and we have um, a, a mailing list, here we go, WLT, and we've got this mailing list. So if you drag the mailing list option to any one of your widget options on the sidebar, you can then go ahead and start using some of these setups here. So if I go back to the email setup, click on mailing list, what happens is obviously if the user enters their email address as part of the mailing list um, widget, it will be captured in this option here. Um, they will initially be sent um, the confirmation email so you would obviously fill in the information here to create a confirmation email make sure that you set up a page so the user can be redirected after they've confirmed um, joining your mailing list um, their email will then appear at the top and then obviously when you click on send email you can send um, an email to all of the users within your um, confirmed mailing list um, group here so that's the kind of the basics. If I wanted to go ahead and quickly show you, I, if I just fo followed the import option, this is a way to bulk import subscribers rather than using the mailing list uh, widget. So I would enter the same format it is there. Go and start import. There we go. As you can see now, if I click on mailing list confirmed users, I have this um, John Doe, which is the one I've just imported. Um, and then what happens if I s click on send email? If I sent this email, it would be sent to all of the users in my confirmed mailing list which would obviously be John Doe here and the, obviously the email that would be sent to is example at hotmail.com. So it's a very quick obviously overview of the, of the mailing list options um, but everything is there and available for you to use.